Hi guys, Jordan here. Uh, today I'll be reviewing Milk Duds, but um, it's going to be a little bit different. Uh, so as you're all aware, I am in Australia, so all of this chocolate is imported as it's made in America. Um, and so what you'll see is, like, obviously America, Australia, different laws that govern those countries and states, etc. Um, so in America, the Food and Drug Administration obviously sets what you can say um, around your ingredients and that kind of thing. Excuse me, I'm also drinking coffee. In Australia, I don't know who it is, but it's not them. So you'll see like a sticker over usually the ingredients and the, and the percentages and that kind of thing. This is the Australian sticker and this is the American ingredients. Um, Interestingly, um, yeah, I found something interesting about that with these, so I'll talk about that in a sec. But, um, so milk duds are apparently the, the word milk comes from the large amount of milk in, in the caramel process, which is interesting. Um, and the duds referred to it was originally meant to be like a circular shape and they could never get it into a circular shape so it, they're, they're effectively duds which is which is cute um, it also says candy made with chocolate and caramel now I found on the like I went on Google images and looked at a bunch of other pictures of milk duds and none of them say the word candy on it it seems to be just this pack that says the word candy which is interesting um also on the back there is a sticker and i'll explain why this is interesting so um on the wikipedia entry for milk duds it says in 2008 the hershey company changed the ingredients of some of its products to replace the relatively expensive cocoa butter with cheaper oil substitutes this was done to retain a current product price rather than having to raise prices in the marketplace for co products containing cocoa butter. Hershey's changed the description of the product and altered the packaging slightly along with the ingredients. According to the US FDA, uh, these modified recipes that do not contain cocoa butter cannot be legally described as candy coated in milk chocolate and are, there, and are instead described as chocolate candy or as having chocolate coating. So that's interesting. And that also is why I reckon it's just a theory. Whoppers taste like crap because they're not, they don't have cocoa butter in it. It doesn't have actual chocolate. It's just kind of like a substitute. That's why it's bad. Anyway, just a theory I have that I will investigate. So, on these milk duds, the one with the candy made with chocolate and caramel, on the back, on the Australian label, and I'll put a photo there so it's easier to see, but on the Australian label, it says in the ingredients that it contains cocoa mass and cocoa butter. So, if you can see that, cocoa mass and cocoa butter, which is interesting because in 2008, they obviously removed that. Um, so, I did some work and I peeled the label off to see what lay behind. So I took the label off, you can't really see it, but you can see underneath it. And it doesn't say cocoa butter in this ingredient. So it does say cocoa butter on the sticker, and it doesn't say cocoa butter here. So it says chocolate, um, which is interesting. And it doesn't say milk chocolate. Um, but what I want to know is, is there cocoa butter in this? Or is there not cocoa butter in this? Because I'm getting, you know, mixed messages here. The sticker says yes, the packet says no. I looked at if there was a way that you can kind of tell, but it looks like you need a lab and stuff. And, and the European Commission Joint Research Center actually published a paper, a study on the validation of a method for the detection of cocoa butter equivalents in cocoa butter and plain top chocolate, which would have been great if I could just chuck this in there. Obviously I can't do that because I'm not the European Union. Um, anyways, now that that's out of the way, let's taste these bastards. It's, I don't know, it's, it looks like it's got like weird, I don't know if you can see that, 
got like caramel leaking around inside. It looks like caramel and with a bit of chalky on it. Oh, wow, it's chewy. It's like eating a red skin. I don't know if you guys have red skins, not the um, NFL team in America, but they're like the lolly. Wow. It was chewy and a little bit stressful. Also, yeah, like it's all right. It's not very sweet. I was expecting it to be a lot sweeter. You cannot taste the chocolate almost at all. It's just caramel. Wow, that's still that's still chuffing. It seems to be mainly caramel. I want to see how much chocolate is in here. Alright, so I'm just going to slice a bit off. Actually, I'll slice it in half. So as you can see from this cross section, there is very little chalky. And the consistency consistency of the chalky is like really shiny. And it doesn't look like. No, I'm gonna taste the chocolate. So what I was going to do was take a little bit of the chalky off and compare it to like a chocolate from a Maltese or a chocolate from a Whopper and just see if it tasted like crap. Unfortunately, I can't do that because there's just so little chocolate, which also makes me think that this is the perfect product to replace the cocoa butter from with like a, an, a substitute, a cheaper substitute, because you wouldn't notice it because there's not that much chocolate on this um anyways these are okay i don't hate them like i hated the whoppers hate these um they're not fantastic they're not the end of the world either um really i just want to know if they have cocoa butter in it so if anyone can tell me i very much appreciate it thank you for listening